Hello and welcome. Today, on this little outing, we are using the legendary Technex T2. Now Technex had to bring this machine back onto the market by popular demand. A lot of people want to live their glory days, prospecting, coin hunting, relic hunting and so on. The machine has really proved itself to many people all around the world. So, we're going to find out what it does on one of my sites. I'll shout the numbers and you'll see the depths. So, let's crack on. Cheers. With the T2, I'm running sensitivity at 99. It's not forcing. I don't need to run it that high. I can drop it down to 70, 80. It's still going to produce the goods. This level, zero. Number of tones, two plus, and it's nice and stable. There's your iron. That is running like a dream. That's what you want in a machine. Nice and stable. Not forcing, not jumping, and so on. Well, let's crack on and see what I can find. Just to quickly show you how easy it is to ground balance the Technics T2. I've gone into all metal mode and I've really put the ground balance offset. But what we do, we go back into discrimination mode and we're still on 99, disc level 0 and tones 2 plus. But in order to ground balance a nice and simple one handed operation, you've got the trigger switch there. You push that forward and you pump the coil. So you find a nice clean bit of ground and you just push that trigger forward and there you are. So you get either it goes solid or an even hum up and down then you're good to ground balance and it's ground balance to 45. That's about right for this area. Then we carry on searching. And that's why you put small coils on machines. When you get sites like this. Target there I can pick out in a bit. That's how well the Technics T2 deals with iron. One blistering fast machine. Iron, first target here. Jump around. Like the iron grunt. Jump in 60s, 70s, 80s. Don't know if you can hear that, sorry, the wind. It's saying nine inches. Predominantly good tone. So let's dig it up and see what. Let's see if we can get in there again with these flints. Do I said I think it matter what spade you got? Had a spade. It's doing a lot better than that big spade I had. Still jumping around a bit. So I'm not going to start looking with a probe just yet. So get some more out first. As my old mucker said, you like meteorites. If you don't know who my old mucker is, I'm 
sure you'll find out. I'll put a link to his videos in the description. Good old boy. Huckleberry fins. a little bit too deep, I can't tell you much depth on that one, but we'll see by the size of the item. And we just have a piece of lead. But depending on how deep that was, just under nine inches. And you've got good audio. Not bad. But rubbish fine. We're going to have to move on to another site soon. What's producing a little better quality of fines. Better than lead anyway. So, very shallow one here. Good example of the VCO. When you get further away, they're your deeper targets. Very faint ones. You'll hear that better when you've got headphones on. You can't even hear that, but I can just still hear it. But close items. Solid 78. Probably that vibrant, that loud. On pasture, it's probably of modern trash or modern coinage. Let's give it a dig and find out. Guys, right, the pinpoint would have probably picked this up. And it should be in there. Still 78. And so, modern coinage. And we have have we got? We got a coin, and we have a pound coin. Hey, modern coinage. Old stuff on pasture is normally deep. Nine times out of ten, but it's a pound. On to the next. Well that was the first run of many with the Technetics T2. Absolutely blisteringly fast machine, as you heard around the iron. It's a sure footed machine and I can understand why they brought it back and many people will be buying this one. I can recommend this from beginner straight up to advanced. There's going to be something in here for everyone to get out of and enjoy. But I'm impressed with it. Sure footed machine, didn't sound off all over that iron, which some machines would. They would go absolutely berserk over that. But no. It stayed good with the audio and I was well impressed. So I'm looking forward to getting this one out in another field and hopefully some better finds will come up. Cheers for watching and see you again soon.